why we open this domestic violence again? Um, I will say this. We're talking about domestic violence, and this is very serious. A man hits a woman is domestic violence. A woman hits a man, what is it called? No, seriously, I love the topic. We are always about domestic violence, and then it's all about the woman. Do you know that there are men who are more beaten up mentally than the women who they beat physically? I'm not, I'm not um, saying it's, it's advisable, but my dear, the truth of the matter is that sometimes some women are headstrong, and they can actually traumatize their partner mentally that I could actually make them run mad. And they probably do not know when they probably just hit. A lot of things happen in marriages. Marriage is not bed of roses. I'm not saying it's, 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 a, it's, it's good, but sometimes you need to work together to help the man. If the man is naturally a wife beater or a woman beater, there, for, for you can actually help the man out of it. He probably must have experienced a lot of things growing up. And this time and age, you know, growing up, you must have seen one or two things and you inculcate it. But sometimes, let's not just put it on the man and, uh, alone. If um, a woman hits a man, what is it called? That's why overseas sometimes you see women beat the guys, but they can't do anything because they don't want to go to jail. But you see them on the street, don't you see them hitting the man, hitting the man, and all he does is just kind of dodge it. And what else? The next thing, they commit suicide. And the next thing, they commit suicide. What made him commit the suicide? And why? What, what, what is it called when a woman hits a man? There are women who beat men up. But why don't they see it? They're not humans. That's the truth. I love this topic. It's, what, what is it called? Don't beat a woman, it's not advisable. But women help the men as well and help them control their anger and also help them to do things so that everything can actually fall in place. If your husband tells you, hey, I think this thing you're doing is too much and you're headstrong, eh, uh -huh, so? And then sometimes their friends could actually advise them wrongly. And then you're, you're getting advice from a single person or a married person. Do you understand? It doesn't work that way. And then sometimes you need to read books, you need to Google on some things, ways to actually keep a man, ways to make him more happy. A man will not just marry you if he's not, if he's not in love with you. But when you get into the marriage, it's a different ball game. Sometimes I ask questions to married people and I think, I think there's so many, it's, it's, a, it's a whole new ball game in marriage. So basically, when you're talking about violence, let's try to, um, how do I put it? True, okay? A man hits a woman, oh, domestic violence, oh. The woman is the man. Mental violence. So basically, I think it's, it's a, it's a two-way thing. Work together and then this could, it's not a biggie. Most times these women, they push the men into doing things. Most times the men are headstrong. Most times these men are stubborn. Most times they must have experienced stuff. Most times they are frustrated. It could be any of them. But that's why you're married, for better, for worse. Work together and, and then help the man if that's the kind of person he is. And if the woman is that kind of person, stop it. That's why sometimes you see men, they leave marriage. They leave marriages and they go marry someone else because they don't want to hit the woman and they do not want to divorce. So they just say, get a second wife. So when you see that, most times when they get a second wife, you see the wife petting the man and all that stuff. That's men are babies. They just want to be, they want to be treated like babies. That's the truth. Hello, my name is Empress Njoma and you are watching Broadway TV.